This is the Seed Sao ESP32 C3 board from Seed Studio. The size of the board is very tiny and is one of the world's smallest ESP32 boards. Comparing the size and dimension with a normal ESP32 base board, it is only one third of the size. It can just fit on a fingertip. The best thing about this small size board is it has a UFL connector for connecting an external powerful antenna. The board also has a battery charging chip and a port for connecting a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Thus, this board is a perfect choice for IoT application where internet and Wi Fi connectivity is required. In this tutorial, we will go through the overview of SAO ESP32 C3 board along with its features, capabilities, pin details, and applications. First, we will go through basic usage like the blinking of LED and reading the DST Live in Center data. Under the Wi Fi usage category, we will create a simple web server where data of a center can be viewed on a web server. Finally, under the BLE usage part, you will scan the Bluetooth devices nearby using the Bluetooth feature of this board. Thus, in the end, you will have a basic idea about this board usage. So, without getting any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size and any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcv.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now and receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. This is the Sits How USB32 board that carries a complete Wi-Fi system along with the Bluetooth low energy function. With its best design and Wi-Fi plus BLE ability, it is perfect for various IoT controlling scenarios and complex carryable application. It has a 32-bit RISC with single core processor that operates up to a clock speed of 160 MHz. Its complete Wi-Fi subsystem compiles with IEEE 802.11 BGN protocol and supports station mode, soft AP mode, soft AP plus station mode, and promiscuous mode. Its Bluetooth low energy subsystem supports Bluetooth 5 and Bluetooth mesh. The power consumption of this chip is ultra low and in deep sleep mode, it consumes about 43 microampere current. It has 400 kV of SRAM and 4 MB of onboard flash memory. This chip is more secured compared to other ESP32 ports, as it has cryptographic hardware accelerator that supports AES-128-256, has RSA, HMSC, digital signature and secure boot. The front side of the board has an ESP32 C3 chip packed on a SMB surface of the PCB. Like other ESP32 boards, this board also has a boot and reset button. It also features a charge LED which indicates battery charging while charging the battery. It supports a USB Type-C interface for UART serial communication. The board also has a UFL connector for an external antenna to increase the signal strength for any wireless applications. On the back side of the board, there is a JDAC interface for providing access to debug emulation functions. A battery connector port is there to connect a 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery for portable applications. A thermal pad is also provided at the back side of the board which can be used as a cooling system while there is excessive use of the CPU which may produce heat. This board has a total number of 14 pins. Out of 14 pins, it has 11 digital pins from D0 to D10. Then it has 4 analog pins from A0 to A3. These pins also support I2C, SPI, I2S and a pair of UART protocols. The board has 5V, 3.3V and GNTS power pins. The board also has UFL connector for attaching an antenna. The external antenna of 2.4 GHz frequency can be used for Wi-Fi and BLE applications. Therefore, connect an external antenna to increase the signal strength. Now, let's see how we can use this board with Arduino ID. The first thing is the board does not have a pre-installed ESP32 C3 board. So, we need to install the board first. First, open your Arduino ID and navigate to file. Go to Preferences and fill Additional Boards Manager URLs with this URL. The URL link is given in the description. Now go to Tools, then to Board Manage and type ESP32 here. So this is the ESP32 board from Expressive System. 
Just install the latest version of this board. Once installation is done, navigate to Tools and select SAO ASP32 C3 board from this list. The list of boards is a little longer and you need to roll to the bottom to raise it. Now navigate to Tools, then to Port and select the serial port name of the connected SAO ASP32 C3. Now your SAO ASP32 C3 board is ready for programming and starting the project. The first program we are going to implement is the blinking of LEDs. Here is the connection diagram for this project. Connect the LED positive pin to GPIO2 and the LED negative pin to GND via a 200 ohm resistor. You can use a breadboard to assemble the circuit. Copy the following code and upload it to the ESP32C3 board. After uploading the code, the LED will turn on off after an interval of 1 second. This indicates that our ESP32C3 board is working very fine and is ready to accept any program. The second program we are going to implement is the reading of DST11 humidity and temperature sensor data. The DST11 is one of the best sensors for beginners for getting started on projects. Here is the connection diagram for this project. Connect the DST11 VCC, GND and output pin to 3.3V, GND and GPIO5 of the SAO ESP32C3 board. You can use a breadboard to assemble the circuit. The code requires the DST11 sensor library for compilation. Therefore, first download and install the library using Library Manager. Then copy the following code and upload it to ESP32C3 board. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will display the humidity and temperature data. Now, let us see how we can use the Wi-Fi feature of Seed's SAO ESP32C3 board. For this, we will use the same hardware setup as DST11 and ESP32. Instead of displaying DST11 sensor data on serial monitor, we will display the temperature and humidity value on our web server. Here is the complete code for ESP32 DST11 web server. The code requires the DST11 library again. And this line changes the Wi-Fi SSID and password so that the ESP32 can connect to the Wi-Fi network using this credential. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will have the IP address of ESP32 after a successful connection with the Wi-Fi network. Open any web browser, either on a PC or a mobile phone and enter the copied IP address and hit enter. A web page will appear showing the humidity and temperature value on a web page. Thus, this is how you can use the Wi-Fi feature in ESP32C3 board. After the Wi-Fi uses, let's see the Bluetooth usage on SAO ESP32C3 board. In this example, we are going to use SAO ESP32C3 to scan available Bluetooth devices around it. In the case of ESP32C3 BLE, the data during communication is organized using a profile referred to as GATT or generic attributes. There are essentially two protocols that are important in communication between two BLE devices, GAP and GATT. Alright. Let's see how we can use the VLE now. For this, copy the following code and paste it into Arduino IDE. Then, you can upload it to the ESP32C3 board. Open the serial monitor to start scanning for Bluetooth devices. The serial monitor will display the number of available devices nearby. In my case, I found 6 to 7 devices which might be my earbuds or mobile Bluetooth or other items. So, that's all from the basic usage of the VLE port as well. The complete detailed projects, including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.